We can tell you that one Oklahoma student is left in the Scripps National Spelling Bee. Our own Scripps reporter, Tanya O'Rourke, is live in Washington, D.C. to tell us how the spelling bee is going. Tanya? Oh, Russ, it's been a fantastic day. 281 kids took that stage today for two rounds to spell unbelievably hard words. I mean, words, I can't imagine spelling them anyway, Russ, so maybe I'll see if you could spell them. But they did such a great job, and we just got the semifinal list. And here's how they determine who moves on to the semifinals, which is tomorrow at 10. Only 46 kids of those 281 who started the day will go on to the semifinals. And what they do is they took an online test yesterday, which they had to be able to spell and know the vocabulary for the words. Really hard test. Everyone has said that was just so hard. And then today, they had two opportunities to spell words correctly. If they didn't spell a word correctly on stage, they were immediately out. And unfortunately, that's what happened happened to Nicholas Stark of how he got Michon wrong in the first round on stage, which is, which is what they call it the second round. Michon, by the way, is M-U-I-S-H-O-N-D. He missed it by one letter. And, and then um, they move on to the second round. So if they get both words right through two rounds and they did extremely well in that online test, then they hopefully move on to the semifinal rounds. But again, that list got whittled down just a few minutes ago to 46 spellers only, and that's such an accomplishment. Cole Schaefer Ray from Norman, he did great. He spelled fusillade and agnolati correctly. <laughs> Unfortunately, though, he must not have done as well on his online test, so he was not part of the group that's going to move on tomorrow. But let me tell you, some of these kids in this group of 46 are extraordinary kids. Russ, could you spell agnolati? I'm close. <laughs> I tell you, it is remarkable uh, what these kids go through just to even get there. Uh, and, and talk a little bit about oh, yeah. the, the big present that they got, because I know that, that Microsoft has really chipped in and, and given them a nice gift there. You know what? It was really cool. Last night, for the first time in B history, Microsoft gave out Surface tablets to each and every one of these 281 kids. And these kids could not have been happier. I can't imagine. Some of them probably threw them off on their studying last night because they were so excited to play with these things and get them up and running. A lot of them told us, hey, I'm going to study on this thing tonight. But it was the first time that at the B, someone had given something away like that. It was a really special moment for these kids. They've worked hard to get here, Russ. No, no doubt about it. Okay, so what happens tomorrow? Tomorrow, the semifinal round is in the morning, and then that, those that group will get whittled down even further to the finals, and that is tomorrow night. It is the big night. We will be bringing you live tomorrow how the kids have all been doing. Don't you worry. We're going to have it covered wall to wall for you. All right, sounds good. We can't wait to see it. It's, it's fantastic every year. It's going to be great again this year. Tanya O'Rourke live tonight at the Scripps National Spelling Bee. Thank you, Tanya.